Hey, what's up? It's your girl Jen from BK here. And I have a very special guest with me, Miss Loriana May. Loriana, what's, what's up? What's up? What's good? So I wanted to bring women in here that um are doing their best or doing the best they could in the industry and so other people out there can know about them because i feel there's just so many dudes that come in here at hot 97 what about the ladies right it's, it's time it's time for us to step up and there's just so much talent in there so um you'll be seeing a lot of this as weeks um go on but i'm um, loriana may uh i really really love your sound Thank you. That's what really drew me that. to you. You know Thank what I mean? Um, it's something that's not out here right now on on you know radio. You don't really hear it. So tell me a little bit about your yourself and where you came from. You're actually from New Jersey, right? Is that right? I'm from Jersey, okay. yes. Um, Jersey girl, small town girl with these big city dreams, you know, <laughs> just trying to make it. Um, I kind of been creating this whole sound that I think people still even have yet to hear and experience the whole thing until they start getting the EP and the album and stuff. But it's been inspired just by every part of my life, you know, just coming up in the church, the Baptist church, and, you know, my parents listening to Billy Joel, me listening to Biggie and Pac and Jay and hip hop. It's like just a dope, unique combination of all of those things so music has always been in your life since you were young i'm assuming so you said you, you were always yeah. part of a church right yeah so i'm assuming you were in the church singing were you in the choirs and stuff is that yeah. where your love voices for singing of praise grew? shout out to voices of praise red bank new jersey mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um how much of that reflects in your music do you think a lot i mean i think it's where i get my soul from you know and my freedom to just be myself and and love and love what i'm doing you know it's like in the church, you just, it's not to be judged. You know, you're just giving you to something else. And, and that is what I want to give every time I perform mm -hmm. to people. So do you live that, we could say, New York artist life? You know, trying to get, getting <laughs> doors slammed in your face, trying to you know, have dinner on the table, but you end up eating like peanut butter sandwiches every night. Like, do you, are you currently living that life right now? I mean, the, the struggle life. Yeah. yeah. The, the struggling artist life. It's been that, you know, you get a, a million no's for every yes when you're starting out. And then it starts to gradually become more yeses. But yeah, some days there's not food. And, and if you're with your homie and you got $5 together, it's like, okay, we got to hit McDonald's and we got to, you know, you just make it work. I'm on a team and my team and my family has always given me more than they have. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like that too. And we're running out here, like just trying to make it happen and be heard coming from nothing to the big city and trying to get those invitations to sit at that table and whatnot is like, it's not easy, you know? but it's possible for everyone that doesn't stop. When you sign to a label, you know, like I did without a big buzz, you're not getting big buzz money. So what you're doing is taking what you have and you're trying to make it work while you're recording your whole album, you know, and budgeting that out. In the meantime, when you're really, when I'm focused and in the studio, I'm not doing many shows. So I'm just in the studio sometimes for 40 hours straight and you know, you lock yourself away, you forget about your hair, your makeup, your nails, your clothes, and you don't just come outside. Crazy because you're just focused on the music. Yeah, music. you're focused on the music and, and the money's not coming in, but you have to finish the music. And that's the most important thing. And now I'm getting to the point where the music is finished and I got to come back out here and, you know put a turban on my head if I can't get my <laughs> if I can't get I, my hair done it's fly I think it's fly I said it when you thank walked you, in thank I like you, the whole up um this may not be the first time you've seen Loriana May so uh I actually was shown a video from Ro Peter Rosenberg here I don't know if you guys remember but there was a show that Diddy had on MTV called Star Maker um and Loriana was on that show apparently now was this show after or before making the band do you remember that um, or that was no? after, after after making the band yeah so talk about that experience how was that how was working with diddy you know what i'm saying i I watched the performance and he stood up and started clapping so that says a lot yeah i will i will say that on the show i was so scared to meet diddy perform in front of diddy but he was very supportive of me the whole time you know on camera behind the scenes everything um he really gave me a lot of confidence and 
insight, you know, to keep going after the show because really these shows, they're just shows. You know what I mean? You get a chance to show as many people as possible what you can do, and then after that, it's up to you. It's no guarantee to anything. Like, Star Maker aired years ago, and some people don't even know about that show. So I'm not going to front. I didn't know until we Googled, so yeah, that's very true. They played it one time a week, never mm -hmm. repeated it, you know, didn't really air many commercials. It was just a door that I saw open, and I went for it because, like I said, when you don't have the relationships and you don't have the money to throw out there, it's really just how many open doors do you see that you are willing to try to learn something from or to meet someone from. And, you know, that show, I lived in a house with... 14 other artists i think it was really? that were competing as well for this record deal and when you're surrounded by competition every day like it can bring out the best in you and the worst in you and i just kept praying every day to have it bring out the best in me and show what i can do and not try to cut somebody else down or whatever you know but it was good for me to be around people that were working all day every day all night just to beat me mm -hmm. you know Sometimes you need that, that yeah, competition. Yeah, it made me step up my game a lot. And it worked because I, it, you made it almost to the end. Is that right? I made it to the last episode, yeah. Like, I got eliminated the ninth out of the tenth episodes. Or that, oh, that, I'm, I would have been so mad. It was so good, tight. though. It wasn't, it wasn't time because if I, had, if I had won that show, things would have been different. I would have been in a different type of deal, a different deal. People would have had certain control over me that they didn't in this process and this album wouldn't have come out the same way that it did now so with with your situation now you feel like you're more free to or do you write your own music i write my own music yeah and i was able to this time around really choose the producers that are on the album and limit the number of producers i'm very very hands-on with the music and it's like my baby yes you know as it should be with any artist obviously and yeah you guys will get a taste of that later on um I've also read that you actually worked with a bunch of people, CeeLo and um, B.O.B. So how did that all have, uh, happen and everything? Um, the B.O.B. thing happened. His manager thought I would be good on, on this record, and they reached out, and I just recorded the hook on the record. CeeLo, um, we actually recorded that song for the Twilight soundtrack, and then really? it got taken off the soundtrack, and he put it out, and... It was kind of what it was. I don't think that, you know, it really wasn't a song for my project or specifically my style. It was a great experience, though, for me to get to record the record. We went on Ellen and performed it, and we did a video and everything. So with this EP that you have coming out, um, what can you tell us about how many songs are on it? Are there any features? Can you share with us what we can expect? Um, there is going to be five songs on the EP. Okay. Titled City of Diamonds. Okay. City and, of Diamonds. And um, there is a feature on it. So far, there's one feature. Can we get a hint? A little hint? Is it a major art? Is it a New York artist? It's a um, local artist? It's an artist that I've worked with before. Okay. That I respect and i enjoy working with all right people the time has come i'll let you know you'll see why loriana may will be someone in the biz you know for a long time loriana may with protect your neck you ready ready <laughs> Deep blue in a sea of sorrow, someone got me down Woke up from a dream I followed, thought I had the crown Last time that I closed my eyes with greed and thieves around Last time that I gave my heart up You can live your life in hindsight Or you can take what they don't want to give if you lose, you get the spotlight But if you win, they wanna kill you like most kings So when you are the best They gon' be coming for your head And if you are the best 
Then just remember to protect your neck Protect your neck Yeah, yeah Protect your neck Yeah, yeah, yeah Watch out for the so-called loyal speaking words of love Sometimes it's a trick to spoil all that you'd become Dressed up in a royal fashion, walking toward the throne Tripped up by your so-called family You can live your life in hindsight Or you can take what they don't wanna give If you lose, you get the spotlight but if you win, they wanna kill you like most kings So when you are the best They gon' be coming for your head And if you are the best Then just remember to protect your neck Protect your neck, yeah yeah, protect your neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protect your neck. Neck, 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 yeah. Protect your neck. Yeah, Loriana May. Thank you. Thank you. Good stuff. Thank you. Let them know where you can find your music at. You can find my music on iTunes, YouTube, on. Twitter, SoundCloud, anywhere. If you know Loriana May, then you can find me. You can find my music. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. See y'all next time. Remember, ladies first. <laughs>